Hello and welcome back, Josh, Sam and anyone else who's watching to a lunchtime record. That's right, it's Uste Classy San Marino lunchtime edition uh, and we are back with a bit of Football Manager fun. Um, we are doing okay guys, it's actually quite going well. Uh, let's see what's happening. Fixtures, that's right. Um, so last time we met it was this game, 2-1 win over Frosinone and an 8-4-1 win over Nancy Lorraine which wasn't enough to put us through to the Champions League. Uh, but it did take us through to the Europa League, and that is the subject of this video. But first, let's move on to what we're going to do. We drew 1-1 with lowly Andrea. Very frustrating. We then lost 1-0 to Udinese away, um, a game where we really should have had a few more chances on target. But yeah, just, you know, one of those games uh, that we always seem to have. Uh, we then also lost 2-1 to Sampdoria, uh, quite frustratingly, although they the two goals they scored were both from about 45 yards each. It was ridiculous. Um, and yeah, we should, have, we should have won that easily. We had loads more chances than them, uh, and it was just frustrating. Anyway, we picked ourselves back up with a 3-0 win over High Flying Roma. We then edged past Monza, a slightly, slightly different team, edged past Monza in the first round of the Italian Cup before we uh, turned on the style and beat Juventus 3-0. Two goals from Daniel Russian. That was where the uh, Wheatland Enjoys Russian show um, What's That message came from, Sam and Josh, in case you're interested. We then uh, were unlucky not to beat AC Milan. They scored in the 90 plus 1th minute. Um, which was very, really fucking annoying. You could see it coming and you're like, come on, come on, come on, we always do this. And we did again, but we drew 2-2 and that was not that bad. Uh, we then uh, breezed past Regina in the uh, quarterfinal of the Italian Cup, which leaves us with the semi-finals against Lazio. Um, we played the first leg away at their place and drew 0-0 in a game that I think we should have won, uh, definitely should have won. Um, we then have played Brescia and won 2-0 and played Fiorentina and won 4-2. Uh, Amara finally scoring some goals this season uh, and um, yeah, putting us into a pretty good position in the league. Let's see where we are. We are top. We have a game in hand, but we are five points clear already. Uh, that game in hand, I guess, is the Napoli game that we're going to play in between the two Schlantz games. Uh, I will play that off camera because I've just spoiled it, even though it's been on screen for the whole time. We've drawn... Wukaesh schlansk Roswav in the first round of the Europa League. Uh, if we win this round, we would go through and play the winner of Sporting Benfica. Or Sporting Benfica? I guess, suppose, suppose so. SLB anyway. And Arsenal. So a tough next round if we get through it. But yeah, we're playing Schlansk first, our former club um it mentioned in the uh, in one of the things when it meant in when it discussed the fact that we we had drawn them it said they won it for their only time in their history in 2036 and i was like oh yeah i remember that that was 53 years ago 53 seasons have been and gone since that epic night when schlansk beat real madrid 3-0 in the uh, europa league final so let's see if we can um visit zykov park uh, outrageously named not after the legendary manager but after the uh, Five thousand pound striker. Um, what was even his first name? Something Zykov. Doesn't matter. Anyway, um, so here we go. Then neither of us have scored, so I guess they also dropped out of the Champions League. Uh, and yeah, here we go. So we've only got one left midfielder. Oh, and we've signed a player. This is the guy. His name is Luke Hayes. He's excellent. Came in for five million pounds from Sheffield Wednesday, who have got rocks in their head. So he'll be. Uh, on the bench, I think, for this, uh, let the guys who've got us here uh, at least try to continue playing for us uh, or continue our, our good form. Um, we might want to put... Well, we're going to have to put one of these guys on. Mid Hang on why are they that way around? Right, we're going to put Garcia on. We're going to put Fagner there. And I believe that... Do we still have Ward out injured? Yeah, he'll be back for probably for the next leg. So for this leg away from home, Caballero Amara, shall we do that or shall we go Pornos? Let's do that. Let's try and batter our way through a, uh, I assume, slightly weak uh, Roswell team. Let's see how they uh, line up. I'm actually interested because uh, we used to manage this club, so I'm actually interested in how they're doing. Daniel uh, Wojciak uh, up front for them, came through at Vidziev, um, ended up signing for Shlansk on free where he scored a number of goals. Um, he's actually pretty decent, uh, except for being incredibly short. Well, it, it, for, for someone who's five foot ten, bad in the air, bad in the air, naughty. Um, he's thirty one though. Uh, then we've got Ruben Goncalves, poor. Probably bought him for a load of money. Yeah, they did. One point three million pounds started his career at Aves. Nice to see. Seeing that they're 
churning out crap like that. Mateusz Sidorczuk, a player who I actually was looking at briefly when he was playing for Gornik. Um, but yeah, the, the reason that I didn't buy him, £8 million, and that's not an £8 million worth of, a worth of player. Um, so yeah, but he's okay. Uh, we've then got Miroslav Hudic, a midfielder who is pretty average. Um, they signed him for six. Oh, fuck, they waste so much money. Jesus Christ. Uh, a f player whose name I'm brilliant, a big fan of, Frank Sheepens. Uh, they signed him. See, he's a decent buy for them. Three point nine million pounds. He's played excellently for them every year. He gets so many assists. Jesus Christ, Frank Sheepens, good name. And then Francia, the Polish player. He's also Brazilian. Uh, came through at Cruzeiro. Uh, I assume he's always... Yeah, he's actually properly Brazilian. Good. And then at the back, what do we have to uh, deal with? We have to deal with Vladimir Pavlenko. He's terrible and old. Then we've got Tininho, who I assume is really short. No, six foot three. D love that. Love that. Um, we must have played against him, actually, because I think I just saw there he played for Samp for a season. Yeah, he did. Wow. Bloody hell. I mean, he's not that good. Christ alive. Um, and then they've got Magalhães, uh, another, I assume, Brazilian. And he's actually Portuguese, Polish. Um, started at Porto, ended up getting... Fuck, they bought him so much money as well. Jesus. He's got 10 for 10. He's 6 for 8, though, in fairness. And then uh, Bosmans, who I believe they signed on a free... Oh no no they say ah no I I there was someone who signed a player called Bosman's on a free and it made me laugh but yeah I do see that uh, they've obviously spent spent four point two million pounds on him uh, not a bad player not a bad player and then the goalkeeper Naranjo fine pretty average on loan from uh, Real Madrid for the second season um, so yeah we go to our old stomping ground not that I think we ever actually played in Zykov Park although I know we've played them since when we were was it Lviv manager or possibly Swindon boss I, I've definitely managed here before I feel like we won fairly comfortably I feel like we should do this time round as well because the team looks dog shit good that we get to see that lovely green kit again and the name Sheepens uh, which I don't think I m could ever get bored of um, Russian heads clear uh, the Russians in Wrocław uh, doesn't usually end well banter 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 historical banter Wojciech has a shot, Schoenenberger makes a good save. Schoenenberger is in goal because we had to um, drop uh, Dial for an international game, I think, and he was in the middle of... Oh, hit the crossbar there. He was in the middle of a pretty poor run of form. Uh, he kept sort of looking a bit shaky and stuff, and everyone was telling me to drop him, and I thought, well, I'll, I'll let him play through. And then he was enforced... It, like, his, his uh, sort of exclusion was enforced. Be oh, dear. Tininho... The giant man that he is, they couldn't clear it past him, it just inevitably hit him and it's gone in. He probably scores 10 of those kind of own goals a season because he's so massive, can't move his big feet out of the way. Uh, Tininho, although he obviously was the one kicking it into Magalhães, so I'm completely wrong. Nevertheless, it's true. Um, what was I talking about? What was I talking about? Tell me, please, what I was talking about. Fucking hell. Pornos now, through, goal, easy. This is, this is easy. This is going to be easy. Uh, it actually got me even further away from what I was talking about. No, gone. Oh well, Purnos, good finish. Uh, Tininho, whilst being as tall as the Empire State Building, does turn like it as well. Um, Purnos was able to get past him really easily. Oh, the goalkeeper. So, Wojciech, good sell, good finish. Daniel Wojciech, uh, barely walks anymore at the age of 31, but able to get past the Russians. They'll enjoy that in Shlansk. The goalkeeper, I will get onto it. Uh, he, uh, yeah, so he was, he was dropped because he was at some international uh, event. I guess maybe the African Cup of Nations. But anyway, he was back fairly quickly after that. But uh, it gave me the opportunity and the excuse to drop him for Schoenenberger, who has, until this game here, been pretty solid. Um, and he's not even been unsolid in this game he's just conceded a goal and that angers me the rooster big ball forward Garcia to run onto it Tininho there's no way that he should be beating in a foot race Pavlenko oh, that's insane football from them but uh, we have three players waiting to get that but uh, no he didn't, he didn't get on the end of it uh, Bosmans to Sheepens I always think that say, having funny names cheapens everything It's a pun. Hudet shoots. Hudet. It's Hudet. He shoots. God, I'm good today. God, I'm good. 
the rooster has picked up a knock luckily let's keep you on for now Bosman's uh, we've got two away goals we, I don't really mind if we can see the second I would be angry about it but in the scheme in the ground in the wider sort of tactical battle between me and the nameless Shlonsk manager I'm not too worried um, Magalhaes heads over as well so they've definitely come back into this but I feel like we are going to win this game or at least this tie we've now lost Baudo and the rooster because I'm going to bring on Hayes for his first on camera appearance the Welshman doesn't speak Italian doesn't need to he speaks football Hayes chases down Wojciech and he shoots well wide uh, Wheatland's team a triumphant return here so far to Zikov Park I really don't remember the dude's name Andre Zykov was it? Yuri Zykov? Huh. I don't know he was good anyway I remember that and I, and I said it was 5k that I signed him for but I think it was something more like 7k it was so paltry the amount of money that we spent on him Ah, oh, Ledesma's been injured as well. Bush to Hayes, puts the ball in towards Shaq, who heads over and wide. Not over, just wide. Um, 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 Goncalves loses out in the air. Gorican, Caballero with it now. Oh, Toninho manages to actually make a tiny tackle. Caballero takes the ball right off that guy's feet. Lovely stuff. Running with it now. Uh, he's made nearly 300 appearances for the club has Caballero and what a goal that is picks up the ball just inside the half and runs past everybody before shooting from the edge of the area 3-1 on aggregate I think that probably means we're going through in this tie because I don't see them coming to our place and winning by three um, what we're interested in is the outcome of this game so it seems like it will be Arsenal we'll be playing but that's a little closer harder to call Bosman's Ledesma has been injured as well. Pornos, is he going to cross? No. Bush, can he? No. To Hayes, to Bush again. Ledesma to Bush. Bush absolutely refusing to cross the ball. He does eventually, and Garcia misses. Garcia's also got a knock. What the fuck are you doing? Um, we don't. Have, so which one do we need less? I guess we need Ledesma more. Sorry, Garcia. But we have Ward coming back from injury soon, so you just have to deal with it. Ferreira to Russian to Navarro. I just hope neither of those two are long-term injured. Bush to Ledesma, because Ledesma particularly, uh, I spent money on a defensive midfielder. We really needed another left mid. Caballero through. Caballero scores again. Come on. Come on. It's three. It's four. It's four one. That's four one. San Marino four. The Republic, no, the Northern Ireland national team one. Or something like that. Gonchalves to Bosmans. Hayes clears. Gorican comes through. Bush manages to get rid of it. He could have left it for the goalkeeper, but chooses not to. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Right, here comes in Francia. Wojciech to Hayes. Caballero sets up Pornos. It could be five. Pornos, 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 Pornos. I had play, uh, clubs came in for him for £25 million we rejected it obviously and we also had bids for uh, I want to say god who was it I think it was Ledesma I also, I also had bids of £20 million for him but I rejected those as well um, he does I think Ledesma has a minimum fee release of something like £27 million, but I felt that we could probably get someone in if we did have to sell that. Um, Shaq still has a relatively low release fee and I'm going to try and get him to sign that out of his contract this summer if we win the league or something he might be more inclined to join us generally. Caballero forward Bush Shaq Caballero again he's running he's running he's running can he cross it? He puts it across uh, Chaparro fouls Pornos. Pornos puts it in there. Chaparro. Oh, Naranjo just makes a save. It's 5-1. Arsenal still 2-1 up, so it might be an Arsenal game after this, which would be fun. Uh, Wojciech. Tackle. Bush. Lovely stuff. Chaparro out to Caballero. Could we spring for a fifth? A sixth? Can't remember how many goals we scored. That's how arrogant I am here. I'm barely even watching. Pornos. Well, it was a good finish, but it was offside.
Bosmans now. Bosmans to Gonçalves, Gorkin, Francia. None of these players would get into my old squad, with the exception of maybe the right back, even though I don't think he would either. Um, it's a pretty poor team. Pretty poor Schlons team, but they are winning the league. They are top of the extra class. They won it, I believe, last season as well. Sid Dorchuk, brilliant save that by Schoenenberger. I am a big fan of that save. Uh, we clear it. Gorkin has it again. Gorkin crosses. It's a corner. Ten minutes to go in this game. Still unbelievable. Yep. Oh, lovely stuff, and we're still going. Shaq, oh, he, oh, he fat. What was that? Okay. I thought we might get something out of that because we got to watch it, but no. <laughs> Pavlienko to Gonçalves, Francia, Pavlienko. I'm surprised Pavlienko. Look how slow he is. God. <laughs> Garcia went in, tried to tackle him, missed the tackle, and then managed to round, run around him again, so he was again in front of him. Oh, Hayes. Oh, Hayes. He's a defensive midfielder. We'll allow it. But Jesus, kid. You're a professional footballer. Okay, so I think a 5-1 away win is going to be... They People had written us off in this game. Are you serious? All right, well... Uh... Okay, yeah, good. So not a bad result, really. Uh, if you, you know, all things told, uh, Bate Barisa still do, still going well in this competition this year. Nice to see. Um, yeah, two two in the end. It ended there. Uh, it seems that Strickle is playing well for Bordeaux, uh, which is nice to see. He's actually though not. I mean, if you look at his stats, it's not getting very much better. He's just playing really well. Uh, the Rooster out for two to three weeks. Bauder out for five to six months. That's bad. Claudio Garcia two to three weeks. Not good either. Uh, but we do smash them, so I think the next leg of this game will be pretty comfortable. It's a good win. No, didn't look, uh, no, it did look that bad. Yeah, Fabrizio is a massive loss. Uh, the Rooster, we do have someone to recover from him, though, so that's fine. Um, so, yeah, if we just look at the fixtures quickly, I'll play Napoli, and then we'll play Schlonsk again. So, I will pause the video now. And we're back. Here we are again. Uh, we played our Napoli game. Do you want to see what happened? I know you do. Uh, we won 1-0. One um, it was a good goal. Um, can we watch it? Um, it, it was a tap-in in the six-yard box from a corner. Um, but uh, they also missed the penalty earlier on. Yeah, you see it there. Uh, but yeah, here comes the corner in. No, misses. Oh, Davy at the back post smashes it home. We had... Um, a goal ruled out from Cavaliero and I think we had another goal ruled out so we actually were pretty good in that game but we have won it which means that we with the game in hand are five points clear our game in hand is against 13th place Novara uh, which I think we're playing the next week we'll have played those two games and caught up so by the end of next week we should be in a pretty good situation um, anyway but now we have to play Shalans Grosvav so let's finish off this little um uh, this little sort of chapter and see if we're going to get to play R Arsenal or Benfica in the next round of the Cup. Okay, so we've got a lot of players to move out of the squad. Damien Ward is back fit. Can I play anyone else then? Nope, so he's going to have to play. I uh, didn't want him to play because he's slightly injured, uh, not because he's bad or anything. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Hang on a second, work is calling. Daniel Russian, can you replace Navarro? Should I replace Navarro? Mm, I don't want him to get. Burned. Yeah, okay. And I think in midfield, we don't have any options really, do we? No. Let's maybe play Chaparro. And I think Jabari can play uh, instead of. I think that's fine because we need to kind of we're gonna we're gonna have to rotate a little bit for these games as well. They're playing the same team. Let's go, Gabrichidze. Give me that sweet sweet team talk. Uh, not team talk. The uh, opposition instructions. Bush has picked up a knock. That's not good for us. Okay, 
going to keep on though because we don't have anyone else to replace him. Ledesma, ooh, the ball nearly goes into his hands there. Um, we, oh, okay, so I was going to say we uh, need to keep an eye on this result. It's already going mad in North London. Uh, Francia shoots wide, that's fine. Um, uh, but, oh, okay, so it looks like it's going to be Arsenal that we're going to be playing then, unless there's some turnaround. Ledesma puts the ball in, Davy. Pornos scores. Sorry, I'm having a type away there. Um, just to type into some of my colleagues. But yes, we've already taken the lead. It's 6 1. Yabari puts the ball in. Oh, poor defending there from Magalhães. Never would have signed him, mainly because he's bad, but also his name is unpronounceable. Uh, and Ponos has scored and put us 1-0 uh, up, 6-1 up on Aggers, on the old Aggers, Daniel Agger, Daniel Aggregate. Um, Arsenal 3-1, Benfica. It would require Benfica to score two more for them to go through, and then it would become a bit of a shootout. So it might be quite a fun game if they can get another goal back, Benfica. Uh, Ferreira to Ward. Ward shoots. I think that was off the crossbar. It was, and then they've put it out for a corner under pressure from Ledesma. Ledesma puts the ball in towards no one. Mm, one nil at half time. I'll take it. Apparently we are looking complacent. Bush is hurt and I don't like it. I'm gonna take him off. Fagner's gonna come on. We need a actual left back. I thought we had good cover by having two good left backs. Now both of them seem to be injured. So take him off as we don't need, there's no need to uh, risk any more injury to him. Pornos now running with the ball. Ledesma, we can minimise this now. We know we're going to be playing Arsenal pretty much. Hayes to Ledesma, puts the ball in towards Pornos. Pornos fights his way to the ball, but he was, I, I don't think he was offside there, but okay. Uh, Naranjo, Naranjo, or Naranjo. Noran Joe, Sidorchuk to Bosmans. Uh, Sidorchuk shoots wildly wide. Um, they're not playing very well, this Polish side. Certainly not like the vintage of 2035 36, or was it 36 37, when we took them to. And I say we as if you guys had anything to do with it. It was me um, taking them to Champions League, as uh, a Europa League glory. Let's bring on Navarro just to uh, soak up that yellow card there. And I think we can also say that Puanos can come off for Amara. Amara's not been in brilliant form all season. Ward now with the ball. Can he find someone? He plays it into Amara. Amara, good shot, but good save from Naranjo as well to turn it around the post. Ledesma puts the ball in Navarro. Go on, Chapara. 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 Go on, Chapara. It's been a weird episode for video words, and by that I mean my voice. Ledesma to Navarro. Oh, you had to put that away, kid. Come on. Navarro to Fagner to Ledesma to Hayes. Ledesma, Amara. Puts it into Ledesma. Naranjo makes a good save. Ledesma's broken the record for the amount of assists in one season uh, for... San Marino um, and we are in like what was it, February <laughs> so hopefully he's going to continue to uh, stretch that record I think it was 21 he was on or is on um, hopefully he can get that up to a lot higher uh, and we can continue to score a shitload of goals Amara steals the ball there Amara can he slot it to Jabari Ooh, well it got to Jabari Jabari took a lot of time over putting that in but he did do it that's 2-0 7-1 on aggregate and we have humbled the Polish champions Although they're not the Polish champions. I believe that was Jagiellonia. Was it? Let me just see. Was that Jagiellonia? Yes, it was Jagiellonia Białystok. So all the uh, the team that we're beating are merely the holders of the Polish Super Cup. And in which case they shouldn't be in Europe. They don't deserve it. Um, despite the fact they had a historically legendary manager. Francia puts the ball in. Navarro heads clear. Francia's going to put it back in again. Goncalves on the edge of the box. Ledesma tackles. Nicely done. Oh, Gonçalves manages to actually get back up and run with that. Okay, 85 minutes. I don't think we've made all three subs. Yes, we have. And Ward has survived this game, even though he's down to quite low 
fitness, but we have Aymar who can play in the Greek games after this, so we'll be okay. Uh, Stevo Antonovic. <laughs> oh, Stevo. Oh, mate. Yeah, I'm just refereeing in the Europa League this week. Uh, over in San Marino. Yeah, don't know. <laughs> anyway, good. So, we have smashed our way through Shlonsk. Uh, we will be playing Arsenal in the next round. Um, so, big games to play. Uh, I'm also considering playing a few league games. Uh, maybe an important league game coming up. We'll have to check because um, I didn't bother looking. Um, okay, so we got we get less money for winning in the Europa League than we do for winning in the first round of the Italian Cup. Uh, San Marino win. We're through. At, so we're playing the first leg at the Secondo Stadium. That's a shame. Uh, good. Okay, so Poirot, Strukelge. Strukelge played well as they got beat by Atletico Madrid. So he's playing European level football. The fans are jubilant. We've just put Schlansk in some terrible form there. Um, anyway, let's go back in here. Yeah, I thought we played well. Well, let's just take it one game at a time. Uh, yeah, he sucks balls. Luke Hayes has been playing very well. Uh, draw has been tough. Yeah, but, you know, we've played Arsenal this season already in the uh, pre-season friendlies and we smashed their faces in, so maybe we can do that again. Let's just go back up there and confirm that. Beat them 1-0. That's a smashed my face in style result for me. So, we're going to play we don't really have any big games coming up. Okay, so we're going to play these games here. And then what we'll do is, after that, we'll play Lazio Inter, unless that is interrupted by further Europa League action or whatever. So we can see if we're going to get into the cup final. We'll play Inter, who is actually have recovered really well, considering how badly they played to start with. They are now fourth. So uh, that is the next big game that we have. Everyone else in between then and now is, is pretty uh, mid-table average or poor. So uh, I think that's the next interesting game we've got. And by then we'll definitely know if we are in, still in contention for the title. So I'll see you in the next one, guys. Things are looking pretty exciting. Bye.